What's good fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Bro VD. Hope you guys are having a great week. If you guys are new here, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. I'm Bro VD. I post a bunch of yard content on my channel. Q50s, Q60s, a bunch of vlogs as well. DIYs, install videos, reviews. So yeah, make sure you guys go down, hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe as well. Make sure you guys hit that bell notification as well so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. Make sure you guys check out my other videos as well. I have a bunch of informative videos on my page you guys might like. So yeah, make sure you guys check out my other videos. But um, yeah, before we get right into this video, guys, I do want to go ahead and mention uh, I did make my 1,000 subscriber t-shirts. So you guys know my merch, first ever merch line. And uh, you guys did a great job. Obviously, the ones that got a t-shirt, thank you guys so much for supporting and copying a t-shirt. If you guys can, you know, please consider buying a t-shirt. It really helps me out. I'm not making much money off YouTube, as you guys know, and I do put a lot of time and effort into these videos. Hit me up with a DM at BroVD and cop a t-shirt. So I have medium, large, and XL. But yeah, if you guys could tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about the 400Z uh, prototype and, uh, you know, obviously give you guys my honest opinions on the on the uh you know new z and what i think about it and let you guys know what to expect and uh yeah will i buy one yes or no all right guys i had to let my dog in my room i don't know if you guys have met my dog yet come here chico one sec guys all right guys i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make this video pretty short not too long uh there's plenty of videos out there on the internet as you guys know i should have made this video earlier but I'm uh, making it now because a lot of people, a lot of you guys have been requesting for this video. So I decided, you know, why not? Since uh, Nissan just revealed the actual prototype and basically went into depth. Well, not fully into depth, but they explained, uh, you know, what to expect. So let me go and show you guys uh, what I think on my end. Before we get into this video, I do want to give you guys a quick update on the Q60. Um, I still don't have the Q60. I'm still waiting on the uh, turbo seals to get replaced. They might be replacing the uh, turbos. I'm not sure yet. They're going to give me a call back tomorrow. It turns out the driver's side turbo was leaking from the turbo seals. So um, they're going to give me a call back tomorrow and let me know if they're going to change out the whole turbos or not. But um, I am getting my belt replaced as well under warranty, which is good. So yeah, uh, right now I still have the loaner vehicle. So first things first, I do want to give huge props to Nissan. I think they killed it. They did an amazing job. I'm totally impressed with what they did and what they showed us. Obviously, they didn't go full in, like fully into depth and you know gave us the curb weight ratio, uh, the transmission, the uh, engine they did say it's a twin turbo obviously i'm guessing it's a vr30 ddtt i'm hoping it's a vr30 ddtt uh, i just hope they do improve on it obviously there's some you know things they need to improve on just get this off my chest uh the belt issues uh they do need to get that addressed obviously it is fixed you know well not fixed but it, it isn't as common anymore in the 2018s and up uh, but it's still possible to happen on your guys' vehicles hopefully they fix the belt issues the actuator and as well with the turbo seals you know, obviously they, the turbos do tend to leak through these seals and that's obviously causing a problem and uh, having turbos blow up and whatnot. So uh, hopefully they do fix that as well. Um, what else is the common issue on the VR30s, uh, DDTTs? Um, this isn't really common, but it does happen. Uh, I heard some, VR, uh, some VRs uh, have some injector failures as well. Uh, obviously there is some bad apples out there and um, currently on my end, I haven't had any issues with my injectors or anything. Uh, so, you know, obviously, hopefully they do improve on all those things that I mentioned. And other than that, I think it'll be a great platform for everyone to enjoy, especially because it'll be a six-speed. Yeah, Nissan did confirm, guys, it is going to be coming in manual transmission. So that's one thing that got me really excited because when I had my 370Z at the time, it was manual. It was a six-speed, and I absolutely enjoyed driving manual. That was my first car, actually, that I ever learned how to drive manual on. Zs have always had a great aftermarket support. So, uh, you know, obviously, if they do put the BR30... Uh, into the uh, new Z more support for us as well so we're gonna be able to buy more uh, you know things for our vehicles as well bigger brands like you know Tomei for example like I would absolutely love to have a Tomei exhaust on my Q60 yeah so my, my first impressions guys side view looks absolutely astonishing look at that that looks absolutely amazing reminds me of the 370Z vibe you guys could tell the whole curb right there going up and down and obviously the little emblem right there Reminds me of the 280Z vibes as well. So it does have a bunch of Zs uh, combined into one car, which is nice. Um, obviously, the front end um, gives me much of a, a 280Z vibe as well as a 350Z because of the hood. You guys can tell this reminds me of a 350Z HR hood. 2007, 2008, 350Zs, the HRs, they do have uh, the vented hood like that, which is super nice. The front bumper reminds me more of a uh, 350, 370Z style. It's just missing the side markers right here. But it, they did add like a nice indent right there, as you guys can tell. The headlights, not not a big fan of the headlights. It remind me more of an Aston Martin uh, 280Z vibe as well. I'm not a big fan of the color, but obviously this isn't the only colorway they're gonna have. 
they're gonna have some nice uh you know nice other colorways hopefully they have like a solid red you know all black one would be nice too all murdered out white pearl white would be nice they did add a gloss black roof which is nice so the whole hatch right there uh, it's black and obviously contrasts the roof really well as well with the a pillars right here so that's super nice. They did do a good job here with the roof spoiler. The rear end looks super nice as well. Super modern, super high tech. Uh, it reminds me more of a Mustang slash like, um, you guys can roast me down in the comments, but I think it looks like a Challenger in my opinion. Warning, warning, another sighting for the full five. I don't know why. Uh, it just gives me a Challenger vibe for some reason. Look at the brakes, guys, real quick. Just got to point this out. Six piston brakes. This is the same caliber off R35 GTR, so... Um, I don't believe Nissan's going to obviously uh, have these type of brakes on the uh, 400GZ. But I mean, that would be nice, you know, if they did <laughs> come with that. If they do not come with the R35 brakes, which I highly doubt they will, they are going to come with some bigger brakes. I'm supposing like the Nismo versions or the higher versions as well, like the trims. I don't know the trims yet. They didn't really explain the trims. Make sure they have some active bonos at least, which are pretty good brakes as well. Uh, they're four pistons, which is super nice as well. Um... Yeah, obviously, guys, if you guys aren't a big fan of the big grill in the front uh, front bumper, keep that in mind. It is twin turboed, so you do want to have a lot of air going into the, uh, obviously, you're going to have your front mount intercooler right there or your um, heat exchanger on these platforms that you want to call them. Um, <clears throat> so you want to get as much air as you can. You won't get as, uh, as much heat soak as you will. So that's the reason why Nissan did that. You know, obviously, most people aren't really a fan of that big, you know, open mouth there for the front bumper. Um, <clears throat> but keep it in mind, guys, it is for performance-wise. So that's the reason why they did that. And keep in mind, guys, Nissan said this is like 90% completion. Uh, this is what the car is most likely going to look like. But they are going to be doing some things here and there to change up the look of it. Oh, I love these wheels. Look at the spokes on them. Just perfect. I'm a fan of more spokes because it just makes the caliper pop out even more. You know what I mean? You could, you could just see the caliper like popping out. So that's the reason why I absolutely love these wheels. Going on to the rear again, guys. Like I said... They did a good job. It would have been nice if it was a quad exhaust, you know, quad tips. That would be super nice. But don't get me wrong, the dual exhaust looks nice as well. Uh, I'm not a fan of the big Nissan in the back. Like, obviously, they had that on the 370Z and, you know, uh, 350Zs as well. But yeah, guys, overall, really nice looking car. Um, will I buy one? They didn't explain or go fully into depth when to expect the vehicle. I'm expecting 2021 or 2022. Real quick guys, this kind of reminds me, I know people are saying it looks more like a Mustang on the rear end uh, than it looks like a, uh, you know, Z, but it reminds me more of a 280Z vibe. I don't see the Mustang at all. I mean, I kind of do see it because it's all like obviously in one piece going into the rear like the Mustangs are, like like all that, the whole trim. But it reminds me more of a Challenger look guys. Uh, roast me, like I said, if you guys want to roast me down in the comments. I don't know why the rear end, like the rear tail lights, the whole lines. And the whole that right there reminds me more of a Challenger. This fool cuckoo's on a sick one. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, it's just my personal thoughts on that. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys still see it more towards the Mustang end? And then as well, guys, just real quick. Uh, I do have a Q60, so they do tend to weigh a little bit more because of all the luxury. Uh, you know, they have the leather interior. You have seats in the rear as well. So they do weigh a pretty decent amount, 3,700 to 4,000 pounds. So I do expect the 400Z to be at least... Uh, a little bit under the uh, curb weight there and um, hopefully you know you can put some pretty decent meaty tires on the rear so a couple bolt-ons in the tune and obviously if you want to upgrade the turbos you'd be gapping a lot of cars but yeah it's a nice platform I just hope they don't do like a 2.0 turbo on it uh, obviously they're gonna have different trims but like why would you want to get a hybrid you know 2.0 inline four cylinder twin turbo car like I just don't see the point okay finally so I got some interior pictures right here for you guys they did add a couple, uh, you know, details to the seats, like the uh, yellow stitching and whatnot. Real quick as well, I do want to point out the steering wheel, guys. It is super nice uh, leather. It looks like it's a smooth, uh, you know, like a smooth touch to it, which is super nice. Whoever designed this dash right here, guys, they did an absolutely nice job. It's all digital, as you guys can tell. It looks super modern, super high tech, and uh, hopefully this touchscreen as well, so you can like mess around with it and whatnot. <laughs> it would be nice if they did like a heads-up display on it. I think that'd be super nice as well. Um, yeah, real quick, I do want to point this out. That's a game changer right there. You guys can tell. They finally changed the whole uh, uh, center console there. So they actually put a whole like doubled in right there for you guys. So same spot as the 370Zs for the cup holders. Glove box right here as well, or center console department, whatever you want to call that. It's still in the same spot as the 370Zs. Your glove box is still there as the 370Zs. Uh, the door handles here, guys, the latch and the vent for the AC. 
I don't think they changed that up. It looks just like the 370Z. It is turbocharged, so hopefully they add like a boost gauge instead of like an extra clock there. Because if you guys know, uh, Nissan put, you know, on 350Zs, 370Zs, they have the time, they have the uh, battery voltage, and they have like the oil temperature right here. So hopefully they add like a boost gauge instead of the uh, extra time there. That'd be super nice. And then, um, yeah, overall, guys, that's basically it. Like the car. Um, interior wise, I'm really impressed with what they did. A huge selling point for me would be uh, obviously having like a good infotainment system, whether it be uh, Apple Music, Android Play, whatever it is. Um, hopefully they do uh, upgrade that and uh, hopefully they put the little two cents in there and they do that for us because we've been asking for that for the past years now and they don't listen to us. So yeah, other than that guys, overall, like I said, I rate the car, um, you know, how it looks right now. I'm not a big fan of the yellow, like I said. Uh, but overall, guys, I rate the car a one being like I wouldn't buy it, <laughs> five being like I may consider it possibly trading in my Q60 for it, and then a uh, 10 being like, yes, I would definitely buy it as soon as it comes out, launch edition, whatever. Like, I want one. <laughs> uh, I would rate it a um, like a seven or a six. Yeah, I'll rate it like a seven. Don't get me wrong, guys. They did an absolutely good job on everything. Like I said, all the key points and whatnot. They just didn't go more into depth and let us know what kind of transmission. Like I said, hopefully they have the CD009, which is the transmission that come in the 370Zs. Uh, they are really nice transmissions. Uh, you could definitely beat on those transmissions, and they'll be really nice having it in a twin turbo uh, VR30 platform. So, um, other than that, you know, hopefully they do let us know it's a VR30 DDTT, which I'm more certain it is. But hopefully they start it at around that price range and go up depending on the, if they add a Nismo, uh, Red Sport like model, like you know, 400 horsepower instead of having the 300. Just depends on you know what kind of trim you decide to get. 40 to 50 thousand. I wouldn't pay more than 50, 55. Uh, maybe 60 would be like pushing it but overall guys it's a super nice car i'm really impressed with what nissan did and uh yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments yo guys i'm out here playing skate 3 i'm super excited with uh the new xbox coming out uh the new xbox and the ps5 as well um i am gonna be buying the xbox i'm an xbox guy myself yeah that's basically it for this video guys like i said let me know what you guys think down in the comments would you guys buy a 400z would you guys consider it would you guys trade in your q50 your q60 for it um, what do you guys think? Obviously, uh, it is going to come in a manual and automatic transmission. Hopefully, like I said, it comes with a CD009. Yeah, guys, that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it, though. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Make sure you guys subscribe for you guys don't miss out on more videos. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.